Okay, so lead code practice time. So the question is uh, friends of appropriate ages. So the two goals, the first one is to see how to solve this problem. Then we are going to put some, some code here. And the second one is to see how to solve this problem in the real interview. So let's get started. So remember the first step in the real interview is to always try to understand the problem. And also, if there, any, if there is anything unclear, please bring up the question. And also, at the same time, think about some edge cases. Um, so let's take a look at the question itself. So friends of appropriate ages. Some people will make friends requests. The list of their ages is given, and age I is a age of I's person. All right. So person A will not friend request person B B is not equal to A if any of the following conditions are true. So age B is smaller than half of the age of A plus 7, age B larger than age A, age B larger than 100, and age A smaller than 100. So otherwise, A will friend request B. Note that A friend request B, B doesn't necessarily need to request A. Also, people will not friend request themselves. So how many total friend requests are made? All right, so we have example like this. I'll put as two. Uh, okay, I think I pretty much understand the problem. It's more about mathematics. And also uh, when it comes to the, the friend request. So let's take take a look at the notes it says the ages the lens is between 1 to 20k and the age i is between 1 to 120 yeah so um for sure we are going to have uh, uh, one or more than one person uh, in the age group so in the age uh, input array so i this moment i don't see any very clear edge case if you argue that um, if the empty if it is so first of all this uh, input array couldn't couldn't be empty so the lens could be one so if it is one we just need to return zero so that could be a uh, a edge case but uh, let's see if that that is going to be covered by our general algorithm when we try to write the code so let's see so the second part is about finding solution so how to solve this problem um, I would say the individual person uh, in this uh, this question doesn't really matter. It is more about the age group. So first of all, I was I would have a map. So the 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 key of the map is going to be the age, and the value is going to be the number of people with this age. And then we are going to have a for loop with another for loop to iterate through the map. Uh, and uh, then we are going to do the computation to um, to see uh, how many friend requests um, there are in total. So the runtime, um, first of all, we would need to go through the input age group. So it is going to be all of n. And then it's a for loop with another for loop on top of this hash map. Uh, remember that the age is the age is finite. Uh, is isn't it is an infinite? So it it has uh, a certain range. Um, so in this case, uh, I would say we can say that as as const as constant for the next uh, for loop uh, on top of this map. But uh, but also we could say suppose there are uh let's say there are m ages type of the ages then it is m square uh for for the next round so in total it will be something like so n represents the length of the the n represents the length of the age uh, input array and m represents how many ages are there uh how many different types of the ages are there within the input array so it will be something like this. So, but as I said, this one, 
the m is actually a constant. It, it could be treated as constant. So, uh, so overall, we could say we could also say this is just the old of n. So something like that. Um, so let's uh, do some coding work. So after you're done with the uh, solution finding parts, it's time for you to do some coding. So don't be too slow and also care about the correctness and the readability of the code. So first of all, we need to uh, turn the turn the edge uh, input array into a hash map. So it will be integer integer. So this is age uh, count, age count. So age uh, as new hash map. So in I Z, so in age in the ages. So age count dot put uh, age age count dot get or default. This says age zero plus one. So at that time, at this time, we already have the age count uh, created, age count map created. So next time we are going to say uh, requests is equal to zero. So we are going to for loop iterate through the map. So Let's say int age one. Uh, let's say age a for age count dot key set, uh, and then for int age uh, b. So if it is so, uh, let's see. So if um, if we have already so let's say if we have already seen the age five so for each age we are going to see all the other ages um yeah so because a can send a request to b and b can send a request to a and uh, the two requests are treat uh, as separate um yes So um, count dot key set as well. So here we need to use the the only thing we need to do special is if H A is equal to H B, then what we need to do is um, we need to have requests plus equal to. Uh, so, so first of all, we need to get the count a as uh, age count dot get age a int count b age count dot get age b so uh, if it's age a is equal to age b so we are actually looking at uh, so we it would be something like count a minus one times count a in this group so it's like it's like um, everyone uh, within this group can send a friend request to to the others um, so we still need to age count a and count b so we need to set compute the 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 relationship so you say uh, if not can be friend uh, age a and age uh, b then we are just going to continue so we are going to define other helper function let's say uh, it's a boring return boring uh, can be a friend so you're going to define the. We are going to implement this uh, function later on. So this is age a and this is uh, uh, age b. So 
otherwise uh, if it is not equal if the h is not equal then it is gonna be everyone from age a send a friend request to the people within age b so it's gonna be count a times count b yeah so yeah that's that's mostly about it and finally we just return requests uh, let's see so for each of the age group we just look around uh, the other age group and if the if they can be friends then they cannot be friends and we just continue otherwise uh, we will get the com for each of the age group so if the age ages are the same um, then everyone can send a friend request to the other person within the group so which which makes it count a minus one times count otherwise we everyone from age group age age group a can send uh, to people to age group b so yeah so so i think it should be good in general and then we are going to implement the uh the can be friend the helper function so it will not be friend it will not send friend request to be if any of the following condition are true so i say if um edge b is smaller or equal to uh 0 0.5 times edge a and then plus seven then we are just going to continue sorry uh we are just going to return a false so if age b is larger than age a then we are going to return a false and uh, if um uh what's that if age b is larger than 100 and age a is smaller than 100 then we are going to return a false otherwise we are going to return a true all right so yeah i think we are pretty much done with this code um let's do some testing so after you're done with coding it's not done done you need to still um uh, do some testing so first you could uh, manually go through some sample test case uh, do some sanity check and at the same time explain how this piece of code is gonna work and then you you can introduce some other test cases to increase the test coverage so let's let's use an example let's say the 16 17 and the 18 stuff so first of all uh we will have the map something like uh, 16 1 uh, 17 1 18 1 and then um we are going to iterate uh, through the age count map so so mathematically it says that one uh, sorry uh, 17 can be can be friend of for 16 and 18 can be friend of for 17 so when we are at 16 so the can be friend will never give us a true so when we are at 17 assuming that 16 uh, is can be friend and then we get the number of people from 16 age group uh, which is one and uh, from 17 it is one so request plus equal to one and similarly for 18 when age a is 18 um, only when HP is 17 is satisfied the condition for can be friend then we go going to plus one so request is going to be two finally and let's see the example one so for example one we are going to have 16 and 2 so it could be friend then we are going to get count a and count b both are equal to 2 so we are going to say request plus equal to this is 1 times 2 so request is equal plus equal to 2 so request we are going to return 2 finally so I think it uh, mostly looks good uh, let's uh, give it a try all right, so it's good. Let's give it a submission. All right, so it seems like everything is good. 
So remember the task case setup, uh, definitely set up a some task case like example one, which uh, is like same age group except each other. And also um, I would say different age group except each other like example two uh, or, or just accept one direction. So when I say accept each other, I really say it means uh, one direction. Um, so yeah, so that's, yeah, I, I would say that's pretty much it about the task case setup. And uh, that's, uh, that's it for this coding question. So if you have any question about this puzzle or about um, anything, uh, feel free to leave some comments below. Uh, if you feel this video pretty helpful, please uh, give me a thumb up and uh, help subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.